All right, you guys, I am super excited about this video. I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. Today, we are doing the blower door test on the house. David from Show Me Energy Solutions out here in Republic is coming out today for that blower door test. Um, the Show Me Energy Solutions is also the one who is doing the spray foam insulation. And so when they get here in a few minutes, we'll jump on with them and we'll show you what this test looks like, how it works, and then a little bit of what we're doing, but that's what we're doing. So let's dive right in. David from Show Me Energy Solutions is out here. We are going around and adding foam. We're doing some rough air sealing of all the areas that we know are leaking. And then we're gonna do a blower door test and find other areas that might be leaking. We're gonna seal this door, but then it's gonna allow us to have a through point, which is where this fan is. And then that is where you're gonna start testing the pressure differential. So you set a baseline, it's gonna work against you. The numbers will fluctuate just a little bit on a windy day, but, uh, but you set a baseline and then uh, you start pulling you start pulling air out of the house. So do you negative pressure in the house or positive pressure in the house? Which way do negative you push it? Negative pressure in the house okay. to test your you could do either or, um, but in most cases, you test a negative pressure in here to get your, um, your air exchanges. And you know, the interesting thing is there's so many variables to it because I could I could do this test today with the wind. Yeah. And then I could come back on a still day. I could come back on a cold day. Air air density matters. Sure. As you can imagine, yeah. cold air versus warm air. Um, it all that factors into it. So I could do this test probably three different times or four different times throughout and the year. We get three different results. We're gonna get sure. slightly different results. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the, when we put it under negative pressure and we look for an air leak and we can find it with the smoke device or whatever else, like whether or not the wind's blowing or not isn't gonna change whether or not air's leaking. Exactly. So we, can, we should be able to find, find all that stuff and fix it. So I usually give this about two to three minutes. And as I talked about, we've got the pressure differential, we've right. got wind suction on the leeward side of this house. You've got negative pressure, positive pressure on this side as the wind blows this direction. So you'll see this thing fluctuate. And ultimately what this is doing is it's getting a pressure differ differential between the inside and outside of the building and it's averaging it as you know, a minute goes okay. by, two minutes go by. So really the longer, longer you go, uh, the better baseline uh, you have, but usually give it two or three minutes. Yeah, I kind of walked the outside. I think for the most part, we were in a pretty good Pretty good spot. I take over the door, so I mean, um, windows and doors are foamed. Uh, cracks and crevices for the most part are foamed. So on your left, you're reading Pascal's. So okay. we're, at, we're trying to stay around that right. 50 Close mark, to. hover okay. around there. And if, this is your CFM's at 50 Pascal's. Okay. And that's the number we're gonna use to calculate the cubic footage of your building. And then, the CFMs, and that's what you're gonna find. That's how we calculate. So I so the fact that we're seeing what seven is that seven hundred and forty nine or is that seventy two? I can't remember the point there. Uh, yeah, seven around seven hundred and fifty. Okay, so then we gotta do some math to get to an actual the an actual uh, rate of air exchanges per hour. So exactly. no total volume. Yep. That's a good spot right there. This is the can foam rigid enough that if there's negative pressure on the house and we fill it, obviously the foam hasn't cured yet. Is it strong enough to hold that hold that air pressure, or is the is the suction going to pull it yeah, pull, pull it out of there? So I think part of this is this tape right here. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll we'll address that. On a 
plates look pretty good. There's a couple of areas um, where we had to patch the concrete. Where the bottom plate has got like a, a joint in it. Uh-huh. So I definitely want to make sure that we're checking with that. I mean, that doesn't look like it's leaking at all. No, not bad at all. I mean, these windows were expensive. I would really like them to be, <laughs> you know. So right right in here is one of them where you can kind of see where there's a, a, a joint in the top plate. We had to do a, a concrete patch right in here. So this is one area that I'm definitely more concerned with. But you know what's interesting? When you when we talk about stack effect in a house, if you got you got sun shining right here in this on this corner. Yeah. And if I put some smoke in here, watch how it how quickly it rises. Oh man, yeah. So you've got warm air on the back of the sheathing. Mm -hmm. All that warm air wants to rise. And stack effect right is up. okay. Isn't that that is that is really so cool. Like, it, make, it makes sense, and I've I've understood it, but like actually seeing it in person, that's that's really cool. And that's why you run into a positive pressure at the top of your house. So yeah, in, in the summertime. Um, that heat rises, even in the wintertime, when that heat rises, you got more pressure up there, you got a stack effect pressure gotcha. up there versus down here. So an air leakage point in your roof deck in your attic mm -hmm. is extremely important. Thanks. Uh, yeah, that's leaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually you got your, uh, your hinges there, it's always this spot. So it's not leaking, and then you let off. <laughs> that's uh, that's quite a bit. That's a single latch door right there. And you can see this is this is a, yet again the importance of why spray foam is so good is that in most situations somebody would call this air sealed and they would put a fiberglass bat or right. a loose fill cellulose. And as good as we did on the can foam, which you went around and then I yeah. went around, that's yeah. two people, and you st you're still going to find air leakage points. So you're going to have draw there. That cavity, and yet again, we talked about convective air and the way air moves in these cavities, we saw it over there where hot air rises, cool air drops. And if you've got warm air rising on this cavity, you've got positive pressure up there and it's gonna wanna draw it's gonna in suck air and cool air. Then yep. you run into, you're nice and warm inside your house. It wants to condense, it can condense on the back side of that drywall now you've got potential mold moisture problems yeah and it's such a minute problem but over over, over time, time over yeah time, in those extremes you know those extremely cold days that can be a potential for mold and so we're on the shaded cold side of the building same air cold substrate it's colder outside than it is here cold substrate this air is more dense that's a good example of, yet again, convection. It, yeah. It happens in every one of these cavities. Beautiful. Yeah, that's what you want. So you do have a little bit of leakage. Some air drawing in. Yep. Which again, we are, we are about 20 times stronger <laughs> pulling air into this building. So, you know, this is gonna be uh, an extreme, ver it's, so it'd be equivalent of a 20 mile an hour gust hitting your house from all directions at the same time. Gotcha. Which is never the case. Right, that's not actually gonna happen. Yeah. Typically it's oh, right yeah. in this joint right here. And there's nothing really that can be done about that. That's just no. a nature of having a big giant cost sliding. Of having a door that could open. <laughs> right. I had drilled that stick of camera in and see what's going on as far as how it was mounted because we had a, a framing was, issue. Where was it? It's so right, see where that hole is in that drilled into the stud on, on Here. this? Yeah, that guy. Oh, yeah. 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 So this hollow the, corner, we drill and inject. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, that's that's it. That feels like a drill and inject kind of thing. Yep. So we're at, we recalculated our score after we went around and we yep. did all the... I can All tell the little you're details. Giddy. It's I a good know, dude. <laughs> it's a good number. So we're at a score of, of one, one ACH 50, 
Um, can you just briefly cap like what is what does that mean for for health of the building and health of interior air and, and why why should we care about that number as people living in houses? It's a really good question. I mean, first of all, that is below probably ninety nine point two percent of Southwest Missouri, Missouri in general. Uh, that's a really good number uh, to start with. That's that's pre-insulation, uh, that's before the air sealing benefits of spray foam. So, uh, and when you talk about the health of the house, we care about what we breathe. We yeah. spend, we sleep, we sleep in here at night, uh, our family lives in here, and the importance of that is that now we can control this air. Now that it's tight, now that it's efficient, it's like, okay, now um, pollens and allergens and dust and all the things that are infiltrated into your home um, uncontrollably, now we can control them, now we can filter them, now you can put a good you know, uh, uh, filtration into your HVAC system. Uh, you can humidify and dehumidify to your comfort level. Um, and, uh, and, and then you can control CO2, like there's so much now that you can control when it's tight. And that's the importance of it. So I, I'm not wrong in saying that the way that we've constructed this has been well well thought through, and this is just for the internet that calls me crazy, is well well thought through and and that a sealed building envelope means more control of the indoor airspace means that we can keep indoor air quality yes. much higher than if we had a building that you know the that breathes like we would, you know, a traditional vent, vented attic space, exactly. something like that, that where there's air moving through the walls. Because we're controlling the indoor airflow, we're able to control the indoor air quality that much better. Exactly. We we can still we can still let this house house breathe, but we can do it mechanically. Now we can exchange the ambient air outside with this air in here, and we can exchange uh, temperature. We can exchange humidity through an ERV system. So now you build it tight as possible, and then you can ventilate it dry. So we're so we're mechanically ventilating. So the house is breathing. We're not going to get stale inside because we're using an ERV system. We're getting. We're getting all the benefits of a, of a breathing house, but we have full control because we're controlling all the air that comes through it. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So spray foam is air. The air sealing is, is huge, and that's yeah. it's it's the belt and suspender. So what we did today is the belt. We're going to spray foam it next, and that's the and suspenders. That's the suspenders. Now we know that the envelope is sealed properly. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for coming out and doing this. And... Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. That's where we're going to wrap this one up. A lot of stuff that we covered today, a lot of building science material here that I get super excited about. So if you hear that kind of giddy excitement in my voice, it's because I love building science. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to David at Show Me Energy Solutions. They helped us with the blower door test today. They do, I mean, this is what they do for a living. These guys know what they're doing. David has been amazing to work with. And we are getting spray foam coming in here later today, just as soon as that electrical panel is finished being trimmed out to the inspector's liking. So this is where I'm gonna wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please give it a like so that it can spread to more people. And we'll see you guys next time on The Build Show. I'm kidding, it's not The Build Show. We'll see you guys in the next video.